Shuichi. So you wanna talk to me, eh? You must be pretty reckless, Shuichi. I'm the ultimate supreme leader, you know. <laughs> because. So you say. But does that really mean anything? And why does this organization run? Oh? Huh? Then I tell you, I'm the supreme leader of a secret evil organization. Yeah, you did say that. When we first met. Hmm. Yeah, you said that, but... Yeah. It's pretty impressive, too. It has over 10,000... It has over 10,000 members. But... You said that as well. But I can't think of any organization that fits that description. <laughs> huh? Didn't I tell you? I'm also a liar, too, you know. Okay. Y yeah, you mentioned it. It's true! But I'm telling the truth when I say that I'm the supreme leader of a secret evil organization. Oh. So maybe you are lying that you have like 10,000. Maybe you have like just, I don't know, five? <laughs> Your secret organization is so small. I get dizzy talking to Kokichi. I feel like I forget how words work. Hell. I myself am starting to forget how lies work. Um, My organization controls the entire road. But of course, it's behind the scenes. All the words of Mafia syndicates are under my control. Oh, Command. Man. They'll get into turf wars if I don't control them. And there's just trouble for everyone. It's a pain. Especially since peace is the best thing for the world. I don't think I can believe the words of a leader of an evil organization. Or a liar, in general. Ah. Oh yeah! Which is why I do the same thing with the government, too. I control politicians with blackmail. I manipulate the stock market on a whim. I have subordinates all over the world. The White House, Kremlin, Beijing, Wall Street, London, anywhere the Tokyo Stock Exchange. You know? I make one phone call and the world changes. Let me know if you get bored with the world. <laughs> How did you rise to the top? Um. How did you rise to the top? <laughs> <laughs> well, I killed my parents and inherited the organization. Huh? What? You killed? It's a lie. Don't worry, I'm lying. Uh, okay. Uh, I see. Um, or did you actually do it? It's true. I only killed my older brother. Ah. Uh. Huh? What? <laughs> I'm lying about that too. How I rose in power is top secret. I'd have competition if you copied me. Shuichi. So now that you know about us, Shuichi, you must die. Uh, uh, die? But, but I'm already dead. Wait. What? You told me. I didn't even ask. You got me. Oh yeah. Oopsie poopsie. I'm such a dead. Man, I'm a little different now. Since I messed up. But I'll kill you eventually. Uh, um... Uh, are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, for real this. I hate lies and jokes. <laughs> Just kidding. I lied again. <laughs> so? What are you here for today? Did they come to beg for your life? Um... Uh, are you serious about kidding me? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Since I'm the ultimate supreme leader, duh. So I swore on my own title that I would protect my organization. That's why you must die. I can't tell if he's serious. Hey, hey! Well, do it already! Get on the ground and beg like a dog! Oh, I, I want to see you slit your stomach too. Come on, do it, pretty please. Hey, hey. If you want him to die, then at least ask him to make you dinner first. I mean, sheesh. Wait. If I did that, I would die. Man. <laughs> Guess I couldn't trick you. All right. All right. Uh, okay. How about this? If you want to live, you gotta beat me in a game. A game? A game? Yeah. I didn't give you much of a choice. But listen, this is your chance to survive. It... 
What kind of game? That's... Russian roulette, but with a bullet in every chamber. You go first. <clears throat> okay, now you're now you're trying to make me remember Nagito on purpose. Wait. What? I would die for sure. <laughs> what the hell was that? I would die for sure. La -li -la -li -la. I would die for sure. Uh, you never know. The bullet could get jammed. And it's not a it's not a machine gun or it's a fucking pistol or a revolver. You know it doesn't get jammed unless you put jam inside it. Now that now then it will get jammed. No, revolvers don't jam. You got me. Oh, I guess he knew that already. This conversation is going nowhere. I'm not playing Russian roulette. How boring. Fine, fine. Jeez, you're pretty. You're being pretty picky for someone who is about to be killed here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but I, I mean, at least to uh, give me a choice of how I'm gonna die. Hey, yeah, you gotta play a shadow game. It's time. Uh, it's time to do 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 do. Shadow game? What? Huh? A duel? A shadow game? No, no, Shuichi, hold on. It's uh, like this. Yes, the loser soul will get sent to the shower realm. Right. We each pull one card from this deck, and whoever has the largest number wins. Where do you get the cards from? <laughs> huh. He even he even had them prepared before. You get it? It's my turn. I draw a card. <laughs> the power of the heart of the cards is strong within me. Eh? I drew the number 7. It is neither high nor low. The possibility of you winning drops to 50%. Oh, come on! That's not fair! I mean, give me a bone here. I'm just a beginner. Okay, she's in an odd mood. I wonder what's going on. You get it? <laughs> I end my turn. Now, it's your turn. Um, draw your card and unleash your attack. Okay, well, might as well just go with it. Let's see. Aha! I summon Time Wizard! A right toss of the coin will destroy all the monsters you control! Heh! <laughs> How about them apples, bitch? Then. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, A7. Huh? What? How can this be? You drew the Monster Reborn card. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> you truly are an amazing duelist, Shichi. You aimed for a tie instead. You intrigue me. You made it a tie on purpose, didn't you? I wouldn't say I did that intentionally. But... But this is the end for you. I'd let you live only if you had beaten me. You only have three events left in your life, so you better entertain me until then. Three events? <laughs> <laughs> three events? What three events? Oh god. Now he summoned the card that is capable of breaking the fourth wall. You will send all my monsters to the graveyard! Hey! Kokichi, are we going to play more games today? Shuichi! Hey Shuichi! Let's have a tea party today! Huh? Uh, a tea party? Hey, hey! Can we do it? Please, please! Well, we're gonna do it, so let's go to the dining hall. Well, it's not like we have a choice anyway. Wait! Oh, wait, Kokichi! Um, okay. Mmm, <laughs> this is pleasant. I feel like my soul is coming back to my body. <laughs> I like that uh, the casino song is still playing. It didn't, it didn't change, like, at all once we exited. I guess. 
Which, it will make this feel a little weird, but... Nah. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, I won't deny that. Tea does make your soul feel, go feel good. By the way. My organization requires everyone to have an afternoon tea. Yeah. My organization requires everyone to have an afternoon break. It increases productivity. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds like a rather peaceful organization. Yeah. Yep. The supreme leader. <clears throat> Me. He's a pacifist. That's why I sell things with. Uh, that's why I sell fights with games. By the way, everyone who lost to me should be working hard in Siberia right now. Siberia? <laughs> Out of all places, Siberia is Siberia. <laughs> well, if they're even alive. If they're alive? Oh, wait, so let me get this straight. Did you actually send them on Siberia? If, since they lost? Yeah, it says everyone who lost me should be working hard in Siberia right now. And you're letting them die there. Okay. But don't worry, Shichi. You'll be in heaven rather. You'll be in heaven rather than Siberia. No. I would prefer not to be. Hmm. Mm, well. Okay. How about you just join my organization? If you were a member, there'll be no problem. But then he would be sent to Siberia. You're a pretty interesting guy, so I think joining might be good for you. Uh. What's your game, Kokichi? Why? Um... What do you mean, what's your game? I just want you to be my sacrificial hitman. Huh? A sacrificial hitman? Because? The sole act of killing is a waste. Learning the value of wasting men is more important. Uh huh. It's killing either way. Uh. So, I think I'm gonna head out. By the way, are you sure it was okay to waste this event without playing a game? Are you sure that you should break the fourth wall that much, Hokichi? Huh? Huh? Because... Oh, there's one less chance for you to survive, you know. I already told you that you only have three event styles. You seem pretty relaxed. Wait! Wait a minute. You're the one who said we should drink tea today. So you're blaming me? <laughs> yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, I am. I am blaming you. You're just buying time for you to. Uh, you're just buying time for evil plans to take fruition, because we're just staying here and drinking tea while you're gonna prepare a murder for Fiji, aren't you? <laughs> okay. Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> right there, Fiji. That's the face I wanted to see. I am the supreme leader of evil. I crush people's hopes and dreams. All right. Now, well, since I took my snack break, I should be able to work hard today. <laughs> yeah. Shuichi. Hey, Shuichi. Let's have a proper battle today. So, how about we play a game called the Burning Apology? Huh? The Burning Apology? Yeah. Yep. Beg me not to kill you. While kneeling on a burning hot metal plate. If you really want to live, then I know you can do it. Wait! I can't do that. I would die. And that doesn't sound like a game. Oh, it sure sounds like a game to him, though. Oh? Oh, so you figured it out. Huh? Oh, of course I figured that out. Um... Then how about the steel beam walk? Uh, um... Steel beam walk? You walk across on a thin steel beam. You walk on us. You walk on us. You walk on. You walk across on a thin steel beam and make it to the end without falling. God, that was such a hard line to say. Then he win. Hmm. Uh, that sounds all right. Um... By the way, the beam is placed between two buildings. There's also electricity involved. Um. And of course, you put an on crossing it as well. Yeah. Of course I'm gonna cross it. I'm pretty confident when it comes to balancing. It's a lie. But that's a lie. So no, I won't go. He's putting a lot of effort into messing with me. Is he? 
Because this does sound like second nature, like second nature to him. He doesn't really put that much effort into it. It's just that easy. Um, is there something else we can do? I want a game of life or death. Is that all right? Uh, Kokechi, these challenges. The idea is that if I win, I don't die, correct? Yeah. Yepers. And? Why? Then why are we both risking our lives? Why? Well, who cares? We're gonna die anyway someday. This just changes the timing a little. <laughs> I'm the supreme leader of evil. I'm used to risking my life. Hmm. But you don't do any steam beam walking. <laughs> <laughs> of course. What I said was a lie. I'm used to it at this point. Ah. So then, how about we just do a simple game of rock, paper, scissors? Rock, paper, scissors? Huh? Rock, paper, scissors? Isn't it all luck? <laughs> <laughs> but that's why it's fun! Chi Chi, good luck on surviving! Uh... All right. Okay, here I go! Rock, paper, scissors! Oh. Uh, we both put out the same thing. Hmm. I see. Again. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors! Rock, paper, scissors! And the same again? <laughs> <laughs> How long will you prolong your life, Shuichi? Rock, paper, scissors! <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> How long is it gonna be like this? All right. Rock, paper, scissors! Hmm. And the same again. Hmm. Ah, I'm bored now. This is the bajillion of time we tied. Chi-Chi, please just finish it up. No. There's not really anything I can do. Man. Fine. Then we're done for today. Congrats, Chi-Chi. You're still alive. Oh yeah, by the way. <laughs> did he know there's a way to throw the same thing on purpose? You know, paper scissors. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> was that what Kokichi was doing just now? So that he wouldn't win? Hmm. But what would be the point of that? Because you only have two events left. I hate lies and jokes. But I'm lying. You just have good luck, Shichi. We got the same thing a hundred times. That's not just luck. Um It has been demonstrated before. He knows how to read a person in order to get like the same thing in rock, paper, scissors. Actually, is that even possible? <laughs> Maybe your detective's intuition is getting more precise. Well, you are the ultimate detective. Well, you know. Still, the next time we meet will be your last. Enjoy the little time you have left, Shuichi. Oh, he sure will. I'm glad you came, Shuichi. Remember, today's your last chance, okay? I see Kokichi is just as chipper as usual. I don't know when he's being serious and when he's toying with me. Which is it? All right. Now, it's time for the final game. It's this. Ta-da! Uh. Uh. A knife? What are you... Oh, good lord. Well, you, you want to put an apple on Shuichi's head and throw a knife at it? <laughs> <laughs> don't get so antsy. Don't worry, it's only for the game. It is for the games. Get it? For the games. You know what the night game is, right? Uh, uh, the knife game. See? Place your palm on the table with fingers apart. With a knife, step between your fingers. Is he fucking. Is he actually doing it right now? Wait! Whoa, that's so dangerous. How exciting! This will be today's challenge. This is fitting for the final game, isn't it? Uh, okay, that's that, that's not something that we should be doing in a killing game. Hell, in general. No. But this is really dangerous. What if we get hurt? Mm -hmm. huh? What are you talking about? Shuichi, if you lose, you'll be beyond just injured, you know. You'll die. Kokichi's demeanor has changed. He seems far more serious now. So that means... I'll make the first move, okay? 
Kokichi spread his fingers on the table, then lifted the knife. Uh, it may be that whatever Kokichi has been trying to do up until now, up until this point, could have been part of whatever we're gonna be doing here. I don't know what this all means, but he he probably was waiting for this particular one. I've never seen Kokichi so serious before. Is this what an ultimate supreme eater looks like? Alright! They made it! He's so fast. If he can do that. Uh Oh Christ. Kokichi! Blood oozed from Kokichi's hands. I sprung into action and grabbed his wrist. Wait! You don't have to keep do you don't have to keep going. Stop! Just stay still, I'll get it. Ugh. I found a nearby first aid kit and clumsily attended to Kokichi's cut. Ugh. Oh crying out lord, you you did that on purpose. You did that on purpose, didn't you? And all the while Kokichi was Laughing. <laughs> 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 Laughing, laughing as if he, we were having the time of his life. Hmm. Okay, I think that's good. What do you think? Thanks. Yeah, it was a deep cut, so that'll do. Thanks for treating my injury, Shichi. But you got me. Oh man, I lost. Congrats, Shichi. You win. Uh, um. But I didn't do it yet. I'm still the winner. Maybe. Well, I messed up, so yeah, you win by default. Plus, I already fulfilled my objective. Huh? Objective? Well, to kill you, Shuichi! That's... But I'm alive. But... I made your heart die with worry, didn't I? Huh? Hey! After I said I'd kill you, I was on your mind the whole time, right? You thought about whether or not I was serious. Or why I would say something confusing. <laughs> Even now, you've con you're concerned about me from the bottom of your heart. <laughs> now you'll never ever forget me for the rest of your life. Okay, now <laughs> now that's an exaggeration. I mean, even so, we we're, we're humans, so of course we would worry whether it. it Whatever it's about you or anybody else, it's not from the bottom of the heart. It's not from the bottom of the heart. Plus, if you died here, we would have had to explain a lot of things during the trial, Kokichi. I stole your heart, so now I'm satisfied. I don't need to steal your life anymore. Oh, Kokichi, you're stealing my heart. Why? What does that mean? Why did you say that? It's a lie. Because that was a lie. I never wanted your life to begin with. And like I told you from the very beginning, I am a liar. I have nothing to say. Telling me would be putting it lightly. I don't think there will ever come a day when I truly understand Kokichi. I reach out to him. But he doesn't take my hand. When in his own way, I think that he helps. I think that helps me understand him a little. Hmm. I guess so. You've learned a new skill. A kind lie. Hmm. I do have to wonder about that. And. Oh. Huh? As, uh, as an obligatory thing that we should do, we should get his panties. Kokichi's undergarments. 